because there is nothing to see. Let me get this straight. You brought me back billions of years so you could show me nothing? Sort of, uh, but out of this nothingness, many scientists believe the universe was born. Must have been a big delivery room, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, see that single point of very hot, very dense matter? It contains all the energy of the universe, and it's about to expand at an astonishing rate. <laughs> oh, oh, here. Better put these on. Hearing protectors. Because it's the Big Bang. The Piggy Bang? No, the Big Bang. The Big Bang? The Big Bang. Oh. Now, what you're about to witness took place over billions of years.
Going in, isn't it? Okay, I told you we should have stopped for snacks. You're not Bill, are you? I mean, you could be. Your name could be Bill, but you're not the Bill that I... Bill! Excuse me, please. Come on!
There's lots more to see. in the wild world of fashion. Mammals are getting hairier. That's right. Wooly is definitely in, whether you're a mammoth or a rhino. And saber teeth seem to be a growing fad in the cat world. Also, look for antlers to be very big this year, as big as 10 feet on creatures like the Megaloceros. Wow! And that's the latest in the fashion world. Is it ever going to warm up? Let's find out with a look at the weather. Willard? You know those giant glaciers we've all gotten so used to? Well, they're going to be receding to the North and South Poles. Conditions are looking very favorable for a whole new kind of mammal. KNRG News Time, 750,000 BC. And that's our KNRG Up to the Minute News Report. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Now we're exactly where we need to be. All we need now is Alan. Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> oh, Bill, Bill. Alan? Oh, there you are. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, it's not like I don't like getting attacked by a snake-like creature. It's Shh. just... See, we're at the dawn of the human age. And one of our ancestors is about to make an important discovery. One that will spark the progress of civilization. Let's hope it's deodorant. Cool. I mean, hot. I mean, coolly hot or hotly cool. 
So why don't we just make everything solar? Ah, not so fast. For one thing, it's not sunny enough everywhere. And although the sunshine is free, solar electricity still isn't that cheap. But it's getting there. Okay, in the meantime, let's just pick another category. All right. Today, we're using the clean energy of moving air, wind, to generate electricity. Well, then why don't we just get a bunch of wind farmers to harvest a big old crop of wind? We're starting to, where it's windy. But remember, to power a whole city, you need a whole lot of windmills. And when the wind stops blowing, we'd be left in the dark, wouldn't we? No way, we just switch to another source of energy. convert the energy of falling water into electricity and are renewed by this natural resource. What is rain? Correct. <clears throat> so we just uh, build more dams and our energy problems are solved. Not quite. We've already used many of the best sites. And sometimes building a dam can be pretty hard on an ecosystem. Seems like there are pros and cons to every one of these. What gives? Well, Ellen, there are no easy answers. The sun, water, geothermal steam, even wood all contribute. Right now, these renewables provide about 10% of the world's energy. But we can expect them to be playing an even bigger role in the decades ahead. That's great, Bill, but we still need a heck of a lot more energy. Where is it coming from? And do you have a curly arm? Come on, I'll show you. Let's hitch a ride with the solid fossil fuel. Oh, I know this one. What is coal? Correct. And we've discovered two centuries worth. Whoa. What about global warming? It's a hot topic with lots of questions. But it's one of the big reasons scientists are working on ways to burn fuels like coal more efficiently than ever. Ellen, what do you know about gas? Well, if your stomach's bothering you, I could get you some club soda. No. Oh, you mean natural gas. It's clean burning. At the rate we're going, we're set for about 60 years. 60 years? That's only 10 more years than 50. 20 more than 40. 30 more don't, than... Uh, don't worry. We're always finding more natural gas all the time. <laughs> but we do need to use it wisely. So, Ellen, how long have you been driving? <laughs> All righty, what's next? Oh, oh, what is black gold, Texas tea, swimming pools, movie stars? What is the Beverly Hillbillies? I mean, what is oil? Right, it's our main source of energy, and we found enough to last at least 50 years. That's all? We're far from running on empty. We've got some pretty far out ways of finding more. Satellites are one of the tools we use in our search for hidden deposits, but there are others. Really? You know... Uh, Houston, I think we have a problem. That's because many of the easily reached petroleum deposits have already been tapped. Hello? Most new discoveries will come from once inaccessible or hard to reach places. Wait just a minute, there's oil here? Actually, the oil is buried way deep under the ocean floor. Oh, well, then I guess we can't get to it. So, where to next? Oh, hey, don't give up. We can reach the oil with offshore drilling platforms like this. We're going in. Dive! Bill. Dive! Bill. Dive! Bill. Some drilling platforms are so tall, they would tower over the Empire State Building. 
mean, that's big! Oh, great. Just what my nightmare needs. Big old human munching, bone crunching, Ellen lunching shark. Take her up, Captain! Rise! Rise! <laughs> See, today we take atoms like these and split them apart to release energy. It's called fission. Hold on! Nuclear energy is expensive and highly controversial! So I guess there's never going to be just one answer. But if we keep using our brain power... We'll have lots of choices for the future. Maybe even unlock the power of the stars. Fusion power. I'm beginning to see the light. Actually, I think it's double jeopardy, Ellen. There you are. Where have you been? The beginning of the universe. There were dinosaurs, and 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 I was in the back room. There, no more paper towels. Yeah, right. Could we get Ellen to the set, please? You've been absolutely amazing so far. Glowing great moments here. Well, my IQ is 2.10. I'll tell you something, Judy. The thing that really amazed me was that you and Ellen were in the same class yes. at school. We were actually roommates. I used to call her stupid Ellen. Bye, sir. Okay. All right, players, we're ready to begin the second round. And Ellen, would you start us off by making a selection, please? I sure will, Alex. I will take dinosaurs for 800. Uh, Ellen, you do know that the more expensive the question, the harder it is. Oh, no, I did. Let me rethink that then. Uh, dinosaurs for 1,000, Alex. Okay, the answer is, this is when scientists believe dinosaurs first appeared on the Earth. Ellen. Uh, what is 220 million years ago, give or take a day? You're absolutely right. What is the sun? What is hydrogen, Alex? What are photovoltaics? What is fire, which, by the way, is what sparked the progress of human civilization. Alex, I don't know if you knew that or not. Correct again, Ellen, and amazingly enough, at the end of this Double Jeopardy round, you have managed to come from way behind to tie Judy for the lead. Well done. Well, I just had to figure out how to work this little cookie thing here. How could she have possibly learned so much during the commercial break? She's obviously cheating. Zip it, Judy. Dr. Einstein. You have no money, sir, and that means we're going to have to say goodbye. However, we want to thank you for coming here today, and we do have some lovely party gifts for you backstage. Yep, here's a party gift for you right now, Al. It's a long-lasting, low-energy light bulb. Enjoy the efficiency. Boy, there goes a real bundle of energy, huh? All right, ladies. You will recall that our final Jeopardy category on today's program is the future of energy. And so if you're ready, here is the final Jeopardy answer for you. This is the one source of power that will never run out. Good luck. Jeopardy champion, or will Ellen take the lead? We'll know momentarily. Some contestants on Jeopardy will receive a year's supply of energy. Energy, you make the world go round. Once again, the answer is, this is the one source of power that will never run out. Time's up, players. Let's see how well you did. Judy, we'll start with you. You wrote down nothing. That's correct, Alex, because there is no answer. Well, actually, you're wrong. Let's take a look at your wager. 
Oh, that's too bad. You risk everything you had, and that means you lose $17,800, and you wind up with nothing. Let's go down to Ellen now and see what she came up with as a response to our final Jeopardy clue. Ellen? Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You, too, risk everything, but you double your score to 35,600, and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as Jeopardy Dream Sequence Week continues. So that's how I became an energy expert. Again, expert may not be the exact right word, more expert-ish. Anyway, I've got to go. Look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> Kidding. I'm a kidder. Bye-bye now. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sending the Universal Energy Reaction.